전 세계에서 가장 롤을 많이 사랑하는 한국인 만큼 그래서 저희가 여기서 MSI를 치른다는 게 굉장히 큰 의미인 것 같습니다 저희 T1 입장에서는 더욱더 우승하고 싶은 대회인 것 같습니다 우리 고향인 만큼 최고의 자리에 오르겠습니다 Welcome to beautiful Busan, South Korea, host of the 2022 Mid-Season Invitational. Well, the fans have shown up in full force to support the home favorites, LCK Champions T1. Now we'll have to find out who's going to stand up on top, but whether or not T1 and RNG will be challenged by anybody else. Brazil were looking pretty damn good against PSG Talon. PSG has had their has had their good moments. The PCS has had their good moments. Dragon down to do that. The HP they flash in with Juhan. There's the shadow surge. He gets on the back side. It is secure, but it's side of red. But they've already got two kills for the max. They're going to be able to absolutely clean this fight. Vietnam and the PCS back in the tournament, and I love the way they play League of Legends. The other dragon goes down. Shaw Steel got up inside the Buffalo. That's it. They end the game. Saga Buffalo do not care about the Elder Dragon. They give that one away to DFM and just go to the base to end it. Sad loss for Dead FM, and unfortunately, they will be going home. Even though it was a different lineup, we've we won before, so I know it's possible. Dark Miss, good stun. Jojo Pugh now going to be locked up. Good damage coming in as well. Ignite going down. Jojo Pugh going to get dropped. First blood for Caps. I think we can abuse people that make mistakes pretty easily. Now EG is going to go back through. It's Black gets one. It's Black gets two. EG is going to get the burn as well. Are you kidding? Has EG been in control ever since that Baron throw? And EG, they have to fight through all the stasis. They have to fight through everything. Vulcan's got nothing. Jojo's got nothing. It was very dicey after that Baron, but G2 hold on to their undefeated record. As Vulcan will respawn to watch the Nexus fall. 최강 팀이라는 게 뭔지 받아 적어야 될 겁니다. 저희의 연승이 얼마나 갈지 한번 보죠. As a team, they are going to secure this rift trail. Doesn't look like. These are going to try to come on in here, but that's going to be the chain into the hook. And guess who's here? It's Guma, you see. Shahu is much more of a carry, so much more facilitated for his team. We saw it in his Galio game. He knows he has trust in his carries. Migala just did. He showed why. Third Dragon available here for RNG. Jojo again in trouble. He's going to go down to Gala. And now Gala is going to keep on going. Bing with the wraparound, but KI over the top. And that's two kills for Wave. The Dragon is one of them. Gala going to pick up yet another kill. It's a double. It's a triple. Is it a quadra? Is it a penta? The penta kill for Gala. When you look at the top of those standings, G2 undefeated, RNG undefeated, T1 undefeated. And I'd argue second place is, is just the same. A little bit more losses, but everyone that you expected to make it was actually able to get through. We'll be moving forward into the Rumble stage later on this week, and it's going to set up for some hype games. Now it is finally time for the Rumble stage, where the six best teams from groups will fight for a ticket to the knockout stage across the next five days. Team fighting this G2 is a mistake. T1 make again. G2 will remain undefeated in this tournament, and T1 take their first match loss this year. You better take notes. It's MSI and G2 are back. EG had such a nice growth curve even within. We saw them develop, we saw them learn. Evil geniuses will tie T1 in the standings. Faker's really good, but I definitely thought like he's beatable. I don't really think like anyone is unbeatable. PSG showing us that it is possible for some of these teams that are in lower, lower end of the standings to get a huge win, and, and that's massive. Broken Blade dives in, gets one back. No pushing back on a cap. He goes one hit from dead, and he goes for everything. Unified, just gonna delete PSG. the LEC. Unified, unkilled, 707, and G2 fall to four and three. PSG Talon find their third win. 그리고 저희 팀의 강점은 그냥. 무적이라는 이미지보다는 그냥 패배를 통해서 좀더 강해질 수 있고 Everyone was just like, ah, you know, LPL are never going to be the number one. I'm like, we've won six of the last eight tournaments that have gone international. And then LPL slaps them. And every time we're like, LPL doesn't get the respect they deserve. Before the Nexus does go down eight and one, 
RNG far and away the best team in the Rumble stage. Let's see what they can do as they claim first spot. RNG looking far and away the favorites for this tournament. I just want the best of five because it will be insane. Hello and welcome back to MSI 2022 in Busan, South Korea, where we kick off the semifinals today with a clash between the LPL's Royal Never Give Up and the LCS's Evil Geniuses. RNG is right now looking like the best team. You've got nothing left to lose, uh, so let's see if you can take the defending MSI champions all the way. Green in place, two for Reset. Zero, looking for a third, and Evil Geniuses! Jojo Pyeon, 1v5 in this game, it feels like doing so well! Here comes the team fight, 5v4, Danny attacked by Way. Impact's gonna try, inspired Will, but it won't happen. RNG don't drop a man, but EG goes home in body bag. And EG has signs of life, RNG beat Evil Geniuses five games in a row. RNG on the way to their third MSI title. T1 versus G2 here at the MSI 2022 knockout stage. You have to wonder as we head into this best of five, which version of G2 will we see today? And if Caps can once again take down Faker and the LCK. Everyone is paper to Faker here. Yeah. Find the Gale Force. He's going to be able to keep Yuri Ishii alive. Caps flashes oh. away, but Faker just assassinates Black and in the back lane. This game one felt personal on the side of T1, and we'll see whether G2 can answer back in game two. G2, now can they get out of this one is the question. Oh, oh just dives into the knockoff. The setup was just beautiful for a broken blade. Decent vision still they here for G2 out. as well as Carrier dives on in. That's a great double oh. knockoff, and Caps is immediately taken down. But the Black is still out. Absolutely huge in this fight. The flash from Kumiyoshi. Oh. Double kill for Faker in the end. Kumiyoshi going ballistic in the team fight. Nice. Bubble is going to go down. As let's see whether Faker finds the right spot. He doesn't. He's going to flash oh. into the oh. 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 sick. Oh my god. He just broke his ankles. T1 3 0 will look to claim their revenge against G2. T1 looking to try and claim their third MSI title and deny. The reigning MSI World Champions, this. RNG and T1. Two teams that have absolutely crushed their opposition at MSI 2022. Two teams with arguably the most storied histories in League of Legends esports. One of these two teams will pick up their third MSI championship and be crowned the sole kings of the mid-season Invitational. I can't believe I'm saying this still, <laughs> but this is the first time they have a chance to win an international title on domestic soil. They never beat T1 in a best of five. They've always lost to them. T1 versus RNG, game one of MSI 2022 finals. Let's get on to the rift. RNG just ripping T1 into pieces in the river, and the Nexus will be forfeit. RNG making it look easy here in game number one. Baker finds oh! them all! Oh! Usan interrupts, and it's an assembly of death for RNG. T1 look to make RNG pay. Yushi forced away, Wei takes the kill, RNG take the Nexus, and they are on match point for MSI 2022. Zeus goes forward, the Nar into the wall, T1 and Baker will take us to game five. RNG have never gone through T1 in a best of five, but RNG are on the precipice, on the cusp of the back-to-back -back MSI titles and their third title overall. And I'm really concerned now for T1's chances in this game. Someone has to face check. Faker will gain access into the river. Faker looks for the jump, they get onto Zahu, but Zahu has the stuff the frozen troops to get out of it. Owner in the back line with the Cyclone trying to do what he can, but Ming with a four-man charm. Kevin dives off, but in goes Wei. The kick back onto Zeus. RNG just sweep the floor with T1, and you have the feel it's as good as done. RNG will do what few have been able to do before. They will match T1 in the back-to-back -back victories, and they will look to win MSI. RNG look like a force to be reckoned with, come Worlds. RNG gathered around their third 
MSI title. They are your 2022 MSI champions.